I must have left my house at eight because I always do. My train, I'm certain, left the station just when it was due. I must have read the morning paper going into town. And having gotten through the editorial, no doubt I must have frowned. I must have made my desk around a quarter after nine, with letters to be read and heaps of papers waiting to be signed. I must have gone to lunch at half past twelve or so, the usual place, the usual bunch. And still on top of this, I'm pretty sure it must have rained. Day before you came, I must have lit my seventh cigarette at half past two. And at the time, I never even noticed I was blue. I must have kept on dragging through the business of the day. Without really knowing anything, I hid a part of me away. At five, I must have left. There's no exception to the rule. A matter of routine. I've done it ever since I finished school. A train back home again. Undoubtedly, I must have read the evening paper then. Oh yes, I'm sure my life was well within its usual frame. The day before you came. Day before you came.